But he came up with this idea of doing a series of shorts called Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi totally caught me off guard. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. I was expecting some fun, interesting stories about two Force users that left the Jedi Order for quite similar reasons. Yet what they Filoni gave us was a mere masterpiece presented in about 60 minutes of effective screen time. I'm going to suggest something you might not agree with, but these short stories actually brought out more feelings for me than Book of Boba Fett and Kenobi did combined. This was efficient storytelling, with dynamic writing that filled in some gaps throughout these characters' lives that I didn't even know I needed, while literally enhancing events straight out of the prequel movies. I mostly go by the idea that Star Wars should leave some room for imagination, and not explain every single second of every character's existence, but if stories are going to be of this quality and unpredictability, count me in. As your master, I'm responsible for you. The best way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. These short adventures are such an interesting idea with endless possibilities. Of course it considers clever storytelling and probably more time than money, yet these budget-friendly productions could be so extremely satisfying if done correctly. Dave Filoni could in reality take whatever character he fancies, from the Clone Wars, original trilogy, or even books and comics, and turn some pivotal moments of that person's life into some short stories. Just imagine a young Palpatine getting the same treatment as Duke did. It would blow my mind. And the awesome part is that I could come up with tons of other great characters that would fit this type of content. It wouldn't even have to be Force users. Jango Fett is a great example of a fan favorite bounty hunter that has a rich backstory that could be explored in this way. It would not surprise me, and I truly hope Lucasfilm and Disney consider the idea of making this concept a yearly show, similar to Star Wars Visions. The Sith Lord is not to be trifled with. And I will not be there to protect you, my old Padawan. What I was most impressed about was how every story interacted with other content in a quite flawless and respectful way. I read a comment somewhere mentioning that these shorts almost felt like watching deleted scenes from the prequels, and I couldn't agree more. It's a bold statement comparing animated shorts to the original movies, but Filoni did such an amazing job that I think he deserves that kind of credit. The movies and series, even EU for that matter, was absolutely in mind when he wrote these stories, and some of the connections were unforeseeable, yet totally complemented the experience of the entire prequels for me. Kill her. Episode 4 called the Sith Lord was mind-blowing, in the sense that it felt like an extended part of the Phantom Menace, very much alike how Siege of Mandalore as well as Episode 5 called Practice Makes Perfect and Episode 6 called Resolve did likewise with Revenge of the Sith. Let's hope all that training pays off. Even though I found the episodes about Ahsoka both inspiring and profound, the Dooku arc was on another level. His dilemma about how the Jedi Order was approaching galaxy-wide problems, along with their pragmatic viewpoints, was displayed throughout all three short films with subtle and understandable details. I've been warning them about the coming darkness for years, never to be taken seriously. Dooku understood the Jedi Order's problem of living in the past, and some unfortunate events like Mace Windu getting rewarded a place at the Council at the expense of Dooku, or Qui-Gon's death made this orthodox Jedi reachable for manipulation by Sidious himself. What I found most thought-provoking was the strong feelings Dooku seemed to have towards his Padawan, along with the way Qui-Gon very much mirrored Dooku in his philosophy, yet simultaneously understood the importance of not letting go of the Jedi way, something Dooku clearly had had abandoned, at least by the point of the final short film. There is still a chance to make things right. I'm afraid. I know you are. I'm afraid it is too late. No. 
Overall, Tales of the Jedi had once again showed the world that Star Wars animation is just as good as live action, and that the franchise is in really good hands if Dave Filoni keeps being in charge over everything creatively. This show has made me even more excited for the Ahsoka series, and what Dave could have in store for us in the future. He is as much of a fan as every one of us are, so I think he's certainly going to enjoy all the positive reactions directed to this show. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it enjoyable, please press the like button and subscribe. It would truly mean the world to me. But most importantly, may the force be with you.